Hi guys, I am back with a, another um, little soap batch and this one I'm calling Calm Down. Um, it is another blend of mine and this one is a blend of mints, different kinds of mints and lavender. Um, I even have a little bit of blackberry in there, some sage. It just smells really good. It just is the one bar that you want to use when you are at the end of the day and you just want to calm down and relax take a nice bath or shower these scents are just going to help you relax so that's why i called it calm down because it's going to exactly what it's going to help you do it's going to just bring you down all right so bring you down in a good way <laughs> not in a bad way all right, so let me, um, again, I'm soaping at room temperature, and this is a Bastille soap. Bastille soap, the greatest oil in it, um, uh, it's, it's olive oil. Castile is 100% olive oil. Bastille is not. It's The majority of the oil is olive oil, but then you can add one or two. I normally add two more different oils into it. Um, I have in here olive oil being my main ingredient and then I have some castor oil and some coconut oil all right and I do this because I don't want to have to wait six months to a year uh, like you normally would have to wait for a castile soap um, and I want some kind of you know lather and bubbles sometimes castile soap doesn't give you so many uh, bubbles so that's why I went with Bastille um, I am going to be making a castile tomorrow though so I will share that with you as well all right all right let's get started <laughs> I'm gonna add my lye water. Yeah, I love Bastille. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy Castillo as well, but Bastillo is just, I, I find it to be like the perfect uh, in between, between, you know, multi oil soap bars and the Castile. Bastille is just the way to go for me. All right, bring down the volume because I'm zapping these together. <laughs> So I am at emulsification. I just want to zap a little bit more. <laughs> okay, now I'm at a light trace. And now I'm going to add my titanium dioxide to the entire thing. Zap again. Now I want to divide because I do want a swirl in there of um, green. And I also want a little swirl of black, so I am going to divide a little bit. So I still have a little bit of the
and this is only gonna be um, and I didn't mind that I had already mixed a previous um, batch in here because this scent is just gonna overtake it anyway so it's not gonna really change the scent at all let me just zap this real quick no you know what I want to wait to zap that because I need to zap this one So I want some of this in here, not much, just a little bit, and I want this green, you can't see. I'm going to turn this over. And I want it to be a light green, which is exactly what I have. I want nothing to be like bow in your face with this bar. Let me zap it. And now I'll zap this black. I am done with my stick blender. Okay, so now that I have that done, let me just give it a little stir. Stir. Now I'm gonna add my fragrance. I do my fragrances according to how they behave and sometimes I'll do it this way, other times I'll just put it in the entire thing and blend. Um, it, it's, it's all up to you, it really doesn't matter. But for this one, I prefer to do it this way. See, it's just a very pale pastel green. You probably don't even see the difference on the camera. <sighs> this smells so good. Let me just get this one a mix. Today is a very rainy and gloomy day. Perfect for staying inside and just doing this. And now, the last one is the black. Or should I say activated charcoal? You know what? I think I do want to whisk it. Just a little bit because I forgot that Some fragrances can thin out your batter. In this case, that's what it did. Oopsie, look at what I did. Let's see. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Placement. 
Okay, make sure that you can see right there. So I'm just gonna go and put my base in first. Give me another little stir. And on this one, I am not really interested in too much of a crazy texture top, so I'm just gonna put the whole thing in there. Oops. Okay. And now I'm going to put this one in. And loosen it up a little. And again, I'm going to give this one a hanger swirl. So I want to see if I can loosen this up. And it's, it got thick all of a sudden. See, soap is very unpredictable. See that? But that's okay. You can't freak out. You have to go with it. Gonna go in now with my hanger. And now I'm gonna go this way. And up. And then go around, clean it up a little. And this is the good thing about making soap. Well, at least this is the favorite part. My favorite part is that you never know what it's going to look like inside. It might look like nothing. It might look like nothing when you, you're looking at it right now, but then when you cut into it, you see a pretty pattern. That is the, that's the aha uh -huh moment for me. Uh, that's what I love. That's my favorite part. So I have a little bit of the green left, so I'm just gonna put it on top. Like I said, I changed my mind yet again. And it's okay. I've been doing this for so long that it really doesn't, it's not important if I change my mind a million times. I'm used to it. <laughs> okay. Now let's go with the black. Let's give it a little bit of texture. So again, if you want to see how um, I texture my tops of my soaps, I have a video specifically on it. So I will put it in the description box below so you can go and check it out where I show you how I do it in more Okay, and again, the trick is you don't want to continue to um, mess with it too much because you don't want mud. And if the if you keep messing with it because you don't like it here, you don't like it there, you're just gonna end up with a muddy looking soap because all the colors are really just gonna mix. So don't do that. Once you have it to wear more or less you're okay with it, leave it alone. And that's why that one stays for me.
and I will maybe sprinkle a little bit of cosmetic glitter on this one just a little bit to give it a little shimmer and you guys know that cosmetic glitter will just rinse out the first time you use it it's not incorporated in the soap it just makes the soap top look a little bit pretty all right so that is that one and I'm calling this one calm down excellent scent for a evening after a hard day of work uh, come home and just take a nice bath a shower and just relax all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you in the next video which will be coming up shortly and that one is going to be on um some little flip books and mini albums that i've done all right guys thanks for watching bye bye